Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's been a while, probably about two months since I shot my last video. It was the Katana Time Part 2. But, and there's going to be a third installment. I, I'm still working on that project. Just have a lot to do, you know, got some things going on. Some of you know what's going on. I mean, I, I don't like to tell my business and everything like that, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, just to let everyone know, um, I'm going to take it upon myself to spread this message from all scab at Choir Boys Cutlery. You know, 22 veterans a day um, commit suicide. It's a very, very high number. So you got to think, in the month of November, there's, what, 30 days? So that's that's a lot of people who, who commit suicide for each day. You, you know what I'm saying. And also, um, to our Leos, our law enforcement officers, you know, these are, like, pretty dire times or not dire times but very uh troubling times i should say and you know they're under a lot of scrutiny you know you, you got you know i'm not going to get into politics or anything but you know you got politicians that want to defund the police and you know take all that away so you know they're, they're, they're under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of pressure and stuff like that so i just want to say i just want to say that i you know i back the blue and how do we all do that by not as scab would say by not breaking the damn law. <clears throat> so there you go. And I just want to give out a shout out to old Scab. You know, you, you know, you kind of inspired me to do this quick little video. Um, and thank you. Thank you a lot. Anyway, this is mainly about, you know, what's in your pocket or what you carry as far as like EDC. You know, a lot of people, you know, they change out, you know, what they carry. I know Donnie B all day does, Scab does. But with me, I mean, I have like a, I have only have like a couple you know, uh, folders, which will actually, um, in the future, um, I'll get a few more, but these knives really haven't failed me, and that is my TW667 from uh, Bud K, and this is, this is a great knife, I mean, I've cut things, I've, you know, you know opened boxes, and everything like that, <clears throat> great knife, it would cost me maybe not even $20, and it's more like the, uh, the inexpensive version of the uh, Raja from Cold Steel. Great knife. I mean, you know, it's got its setbacks, but it serves me well. The other one I got from my father-in-law, and that is the this Gerber right here. And it's got S30V steel, and it's made in the USA. And what, I'm not a serrations person, so that's why I carry two knives. I carry one with serrations, and I carry... One that just has, you know, just a regular edge. And this, I mean, this has uh, gotten me through a lot too, you know, as far as, you know, um, everyday opening, you know, knife tasks as far as, you know, opening packages, cutting cord, stuff like that. Great little knife. Close that right here. And the third one, I actually carry the, I actually carry this in my boot. And I've actually had this knife in my boots, um since 2011 that is this little timberwolf um boot knife you know it's just you know just some uh stainless steel just it just has a stainless steel blade you know made in china but i tell you what though i mean i've you know used a you know used the heck out of this thing um this thing you know it'll of course you know it's a dagger so it's good for thrusting but it's got a good little edge i've peeled apples you know done all kind of tests i've even shucked oysters and i love raw oysters and i didn't have an oyster knife so i'm like huh let's see if this will uh work and lo and behold it uh it works so good little knife think about maybe not re not retiring it but maybe just change this out you know there are other good boot knives out there this one is just i've had for a long time and as you can see got the scabbard or not i got the scabbard but the scabbard's kind of Worn down, I kind of got the end tape. You can see the uh, the tip coming out of the uh, hole there. So I'm thinking about maybe having a Kydex made for it. That, I think that would be pretty awesome. But anyway, you know, I just want to do do this uh, short little video. Forgive my stuttering there. But um, like I said, you know, 22 veterans uh, a day commit suicide. You know, support our law enforcement officers. And that's pretty much about it. So anyway, you know, you guys have a good one. And on, a, on another note, next week I'm going to get to reviews again. 
it, you know, it's like I said, things have just been busy. And what's up for review next is that custom piece I had made from Kukri House that uh, Donnie B. All Day um, helped me design. So that's up for review. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you guys stay safe, stay sharp, and take care.